poison. <laughs> like that is a, a pretty huge boon to us overall here, specifically in this swamps area. That is just filled to the brim with uh, cloud creating sons of guns. But there we go, not too shabby. And again, this should mean that we can fairly cleanly just go through the last couple of areas here. Um, ID scrolls no longer necessary. Gloves, well, magic gloves as far as the eye can see. All these magic gloves and not a soul to wear them down here in Swamp 4. I guess there were a few Spriggans, so maybe they'd uh, have a bit of a heyday. Hey, Roga, how's it going? And not too shabby, we did get our first rune under our belt here, and no real issues, even deciding to take the slightly suboptimal approach here in the final floor. In fact, maybe the mark trap kind of worked out for us, because we drew all the enemies from the rune vault away and then teleported around. Why am I not using the trident? Indeed, we were just talking about that. Because I believe that's why I picked it up. The plan was to potentially swap over. It synergizes fairly nicely with the summoner playstyle that you read encourages. I guess, oh, we do even have some cross-training. For whatever reason, I didn't think that we would. So do you know what? We should actually have swapped to this right away because we're already attacking more than once per turn. Silly old me. Just forgetting how cross-training works. But let's do it. It's a plus eight. We're going to be hard-pressed to get anything better than that for the, the time being here. And then there was Spider. Not really looking forward to Spider here. In fact, Trident maybe didn't come at the best time, or the Trident swap, I should say, just because Spider is usually somewhere that you want a bit of crowd control to AoE, but... But I think we'll we'll be fine to figure it out. Us and our Hydra pal here. Francis. Now that is interesting. Can I kill you right now? I think this is now our best in slot companion. If we can bind Francis's soul then we're probably in business here. Let's do some quick double checking here. Only 4% chance to paralyze you, so that's not going to be a very solid method for taking you out. We have three haste potions and one might, so we could just try to outrace you potentially, as long as they don't summon in too many sketchy friends. We don't immediately lose our bound soul. Oh, okay, that was something I was asking about a while back. I was curious if we would lose our Hydra the second we proc another one here. But it's looking like that is not the case. And our seven-headed Hydra is just going to annihilate Francis. Okay. And we get an artifacts... Broad Axe? Plus two, but it does give willpower. Spectral? I'm a bit more ambivalent about. Oh, okay. I was wondering if this was just a new sprite for the Click of Auras, and it is. Uh, Francis? Where are you? Okay, there you are, buddy. Could we, uh, come into the mix here, my hasty pal? So at the very least... We'll never need that War Axe again. I mean, we might end up using this just for the willpower at the end of the day. Additionally, we can take advantage, of course, of our uh, our Mountain Dwarf nature here, and we can actually enchant this up. I would not immediately do so, because I think that we would at least hopefully get some better options as the game continues on here. So you notice how that's not exactly the... Uh, 
the prime choice right off the bat. And already we're actually seeing some dividends for using the pole arm here. So we're able to just do some poking. I do need to make sure that Francis doesn't die when I'm not paying attention though. Because they are already much more injured than I would have expected. There we go. Let's hug ourselves into a corner. Let Francis fully heal up. Not too shabby. Yeah, we're definitely set for the enchant armor, which mainly means that I'm hoping that we get some better armor in the short term. I don't really want to be wearing chainmail of poison resistance for the rest of the game. But I also would like to have some options, you know, before we get to, like, gold dragon scale territory. So a nice artifact, like plate armor, even a nice artifact chainmail could be just lovely. But okay, let's do a quick check here, because Haunt, I feel, might work out for us. They'll attack the creature we haunt. Hmm. It has a bit of overlap with our existing playstyle here, which at face value sounds like I'm complimenting it, but I think more so what my brain is going for in that capacity is that... We only have so many spots around us for friends to stand. So at a certain point, getting more friends drastically falls off in terms of effectiveness. It does mean more backup for if most of my friends get killed, but you know, if we're seeing that come to pass, then we're already kind of in the, the thick of it all here. So we'll take another look a bit later on. I think I'm pretty happy with where all of our current skill allocation is. So let's go here. You know, one thing I didn't even fully kind of uh, reconcile in my brain was that we swapped into the Trident right before a spider. So the Venom brand, actually pretty solid for us here. You know, everything is decently affected by poison, uh, by which I actually mean most of them are vulnerable to it, of course. So that should work out pretty fantastically for us here uh friends <laughs> people are still fighting somewhere around us couldn't really figure that out but not the end of the world let's just get back to fighting here shall we i think with the addition of francis here i do think that i have kind of cemented in my opinions and thoughts in regards to what makes the uh, the best bound soul here. Oh my gosh, they immediately confused me again. Could I get one turn, please? Thank you, I appreciate it. Beautiful. Tuck ourselves into a nice little corner before we heal up. But yeah, just being able to have a body that in turns throws more bodies at the problem, it's hard to go wrong with that at our backs. So now it's just got me thinking about like late game souls, what works out for us. Going through the pan lords, the majority of them just have solid firepower, which don't get me wrong, still pretty fantastic. I don't know how it would work with like Lom Labot and uh, who's fire buddy? can't believe I'm blanking on this right now, but uh, Firestorm and Chain Lightning both seem like they'd be sketchy to have in the hands of a, an AI friend. <laughs> you know, we've seen how a servitor can sometimes lead to disastrous results, so I'm just extrapolating that to the extreme. Yeah, Sarah Bob, there it is. Thanks, Roga. I was going to make the excuse that it's normally just because I mix up my... Uh, Ham lords and hell lords all the time but in this case i was just blanking on both of them so you know back out while we're still ahead but yeah they don't seem great what i am curious about it's been a while since we did a 15 rune run but Arresh Kigal, i think summons in tits middles so there you'd be getting su constant summons that have both um torment and have dispel undead so they're pretty handy against any type of enemy. 
think there's something to that. I'm curious how, like, you know, now that we're in Spider, we often find, uh, who is it, McLaudle here? How would McLaudle there? Because they do the corrupt thing. So we'd be getting a whole bunch of Abyss summons. I can't remember. I don't know if they would just be neutral. Um, and so they could potentially pose a threat to us indirectly. Or if it would just be a, uh, a solid combo. If anyone has tried that out, let me know. Because it's... At first blush, in my head, seems like it would be a pretty potent option. Of course, there are some enemies or friends that would just be strong overall. You know, speaking of Spellforge Servitor moments ago, I think Frederick would be a pretty uh, pretty good soul to have by your side as well. Um, hello? <laughs> Shakrixis? Saxicris? <laughs> Don't know how I want to pronounce your name, my friend. You a Formicid, though? You're a Royal Expeditionary Alchemist? Interesting. Centuries since outsiders were last allowed access to the cavernous libraries of the Formicids, but their emissaries are still seen from time to time surveying other lands. Interesting. So they're studying the magical fibers excreted by orb spiders. If anything sounds like a uh, a good like fantastical version of your your master's thesis, either master's thesis or you're taking your doctorate and you need to you know, submit your, your groundbreaking research papers here. Just went in and I studied this one very specific spider that can only be found in this one habitat. Interesting. Oh, and actually they already had a breakthrough, which is why they can fulminate prism. Interesting. Well, I like the theme of you a lot, buddy. I think we are just going to be trying to murder you, if at all possible. So go, go, gadget, zombies. Okay, I wanted it to be slightly better orientation here, but this one should actually do perfect for us to just hurl torchlight. Hits all of our friends, gets our enemies looking a little worse for wear as well. I am losing said friends at a pretty prodigious rate. So that is not ideal. Maybe I do just smash these sons of guns with another one of these bad boys. Just try to lock in some damage. Zack went down there. So sorry, my friend. Did your best. Plus seven Morningstar. I mean, you really don't like to see the slow ego, any negative ego, but that's one that is a bit harder to argue for. I mean, blink, our electricity is something I'm missing, and intelligence make it a pretty solid stat stick. So I'll carry it around for the, the moment. Oh, right, and I was on my way. I got very excited because uh, you do love to see a bit of tambourine action. For this, I think Wand of Flaming, you've probably uh, outlived your usefulness for the moment. And we'll see how she goes, shall we? Um, hmm. These kiddos are definitely dealing more damage than I was uh, expecting for us to deal with here. Let's try to make sure. I do not want Francis to die. I, of course, more importantly, don't want to die myself. Please don't hit Francis. Oh, okay, good. Ooh-wee. Had me worried there, friends. But looks like we're gonna clean up nicely. Great work. Just let the crew do the rest of the heavy lifting there. You'd keep it just for the blink aspect. Definitely not too shabby. I mean, at this point, we have the magic skills that I can probably learn blink. Yeah, 60% failure. Obviously not functional in its current form, but it wouldn't take too much translocation to bring that on board for us here. But you're not wrong, that I'm I'm always very happy to see the blink ego on any kind of martial character if we weren't quite as 
invested into potentially also spell casting, then it would be a bit of a, a no-brainer for sure. Okay, well, not too shabby. A bit more exciting than Swamp was, but we should be able to uh, to get through this in one piece here. I did want to double check on you. It seems like Francis is going down to half health extremely quickly. And nothing jumps out to me here. I mean, maybe low armor class. Two pips doesn't seem that powerful. So mainly we're just keeping you around for your uh, ability to bring in friends. Because don't get it twisted, that is still by far the greatest advantage that we've uh, seen so far in regards to our bound friends. Uh, Ring of Poison Resistance shouldn't be necessary, but I appreciate it nonetheless, Dungeon. And let's just keep it rolling, shall we? I'm guessing our friend is still somewhere here. Yeah, there you are. Do want to be careful because having Francis die off screen is not the outcome that we'd uh, like to see achieved here by any means. Um, I guess I might as well hurl some torchlight, and this one will be more offensively aimed. I mean, then if I take a step back before we hurl one more. There we go. Get a bunch of mited zombie pals, and they can do pretty much all of the hard work from here on out. Fantastic. I'm tabbing pretty quickly here, which I don't love for our friendship. I feel like I was confident with the numbers game at the moment here, seeing as how we uh, have a, a plethora of summoned pals by our side. But it's not just our lives we have to think of. That's the, that's the issue with raising a, a bound soul in a hostile environment, is so much of your time goes into thinking and preventing any issues from affecting them. Let's definitely recall the Dead Harvest here, though. And... Well, we're fairly close to ending this floor. I'm okay with hurling another torchlight at our problems. Why the heck not? I mean, I don't think it's necessary. I believe that uh, Hurl Torch is already feeling pretty balanced from my limited experience here. But it would be kind of sweet if it also buffed us. Just for... Uh, just for the flavor of it all. Okay, just making sure that Francis was staying kind of behind us there so they weren't going to get radioactive in just a, a turn next to our cockroach pal. And otherwise, this is pretty much exactly how we want it to go. And we really hit the jackpot, coming into Spider and immediately facing off against Francis. Plus, again, I'm still shocked that when you bind a soul, you don't lose your previous one. Because that allows you to, like, uh, leapfrog very consistently to stronger and stronger monsters. Your character doesn't even have to get any better. Just keep uh, leveraging whatever soul you have by your side. But now that it's just the two of us again, I would like to be a little bit cautious until we have the, the firepower to ensure some survival. Okay, let's take our summoned friends as we drop the Black Torch and try to uh, take advantage of the additional help as much as we can early on here. Enraged spiders, of course, never something you really want to see because they uh, start rampaging out of control at a pretty prodigious rate. Hmm, would I rather have an assortment of demons? Haste. Do I want by Susan? Again, this raises the question of when exactly the outcome soul gets locked in because I don't want 
dragon form by Susan. I want Madame Whitesnake here. I want the Summon Hydra. And that does concern me. I mean, you would have 220 health. What do you think, Francis? I guess the other advantage is consistency. By Susan will always summon Hydras when they cast spells. Oh. You know what? We gotta experiment. No time like the present. I would like all of you to rush headfirst into this, uh, this problem, please and thank you. This probably is not horrible. We'll regain our charge of uh, Torch when we kill by Susan as well. Oh, I am concerned that we're going to regret this. What form of by Susan do I get? Oh, son of a gun. I get the Storm Dragon. Shoot. Uh, I was worried about that. AC does go up, so the, like, survivability is way, way higher here for sure. Still not totally clear where I land on the, uh, the trade, but I'll take it. I mean, it's hard to complain when you get one of the, the stronger uniques in the game to join you. Fantastic. Wait for the confusion to, uh run out there I guess the primal wave doesn't hurt still a 3d 30 spell nothing to sneeze at at the end of the day so not exactly complaining all things considered plus by Susan I mean the three attacks all pretty solid hit for a decent uh, decent little pack a punch there 